Welcome friends to episode 32 for the latest kitchen table sister chat. You have heard me say in the opening of these kitchen table episodes that our chats will be the type of things that we would talk about at the kitchen table in my home over a cup of coffee. And I'm sure that you can agree that not every chat around the kitchen table among girlfriends is all belly laughs, right? Sometimes these conversations are intimate and vulnerable moments. And that is what our conversation is going to look like today. So pull up a seat around the table, my sweet friends. I am really, really glad that you're here. I have shared in earlier episodes of the Wellness Impact with Emmy Wilhelm that I started the podcast because I felt a strong nudging from the Holy Spirit to do so. And I absolutely had no idea how to start a podcast, but I kept having this feeling of this nudging. I would ignore it and it would fade, but it would always eventually resurface. And over time, obviously, I decided to figure out how to even get a podcast started. I felt certain that God was guiding me to share honest and really direct content, specifically with women regarding real life scenarios and real life challenges that he has brought me through. I felt compelled to do this through topics of the day and things of that nature and sharing real life application as well as tying it back to scripture in an attempt to help create this deepening of our faith and expanding our relationships with Jesus, but also really kind of expanding those relationships that we have with each other and creating that sense of community. So in preparation, I prayed a ton and I did a couple of other things as well. I took a year long course to acquire my ICF coaching certification. I felt that was really, really important because I am not naive enough to think that everyone will think and feel like me. I wanted to be as equipped as I possibly could be to work with a variety of different women who have a desire to grow and change but may think and feel differently than what I do. Creating that opportunity to grow as a coach and to have that certification and that training was really, really important to me. Also, I hired a podcast coach. I work with a coach for nine weeks, worked through a program to really learn the ins and outs of beginning a podcast, setting up the equipment, getting set up to produce the um, podcasting and get it out into the world. And that was very valuable. And then lastly, I started a social media account to gain exposure and to try to help lead people to the podcast and to the coaching content. I years ago had um, been on social media but had fallen away from it Um, for a number of years. And so I really didn't have a following at all. I was starting right from scratch. And so that was something that I really did not have a strong desire to do. But I thought that it would really help the overall cause to, to lead people to the content and to gain some exposure. So when I started my coaching business back in 2022, and then the podcast in 2023, I honestly just kept putting one foot in front of the other. I was just really figuring it out on the fly as I went. And as time went on, I've really become aware of three things that I wanted to consider changing and and really refocus. And I just decided to kind of rip off the Band-Aid and and we're going to go for it. I don't want more time to pass before making these changes. So number one, I wanted my name and my face removed from the content. And honestly, this just helps my head and my heart to remember that it's not about me. This is 100% about Jesus, and I am just a vessel at his disposal. And that's how it started, and that's how I want it to continue, and that's how I want it to always be. And so that was one change I wanted to make. Number two, I want to make the most impact for the kingdom by having the podcast and my coaching messaging aligned and kind of interwoven, really, instead of running parallel. And number three, I want to make the content as intentional as possible. In the beginning, I feel like it may have been quite broad. And I think looking back, that may have been unintentionally trying to cast kind of a large net to see if I could really have more interest trying to please everyone, which we all know in life and in podcasting uh, alike, that is not possible. I know that I have been called to talk about Jesus and to guide women to really knowing him more and understanding beyond the shadow of a doubt that he is their main source of nourishment. It's him exploring his life-giving word, understanding how he loves us, 
and how he has taught us to love others. I know that God is asking me to courageously share my faith and to help other women expand and deepen their own faith. If they already have a strong faith, that is awesome. And my great hope is that this content will just help us normalize bravely talking about our faith in a worldly environment and not just in our homes or in our safe spaces. And it's really, really tremendously important to share our faith in our home. Keep doing that. But I believe it's also important that we become committed to demonstrating our faith outside of the walls of our home. And I want to help point women to do this and why it is important and how their overall joy and sense of fulfillment and well-being is extremely rooted in three specific areas of their life their soul, their mind, and their body. And yes, 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 I realize it's really, really weird to hear those in that order because the world seems to traditionally say mind, body, and soul. And I am intentionally putting those in their proper order of importance. Soul, mind, and body. So you might be wondering, what all's changing? So here's the scoop. For social media, if you follow me on social, you may have already noticed that my name on my social media pages and my avatars for my pages changed last week. So Emmy Wilhelm Coaching changed to Fully Nourished Journey. And the Wellness Impact with Emmy Wilhelm changed to Fully Nourished Podcast. So a little continuity there. Pretty cool, right? So and then for the podcast, I apologize in advance if this is not how it works. Depending on your podcast player, I think this is how it is supposed to flow. The following is hopefully true for all of you. You should still remain subscribed and the old episode should still be available for you to enjoy under the old name. But the podcast name will now show as Fully Nourished Podcast, and the podcast art is now updated with a grayish blue background, and then the words Fully Nourished Podcast scrolled across a wreath of flowers, which I think is super, super pretty. Made it myself, thanks greatly to Canva, of course. So the Kitchen Table Sister Chats will still have the yellow background with the hands wrapped around a cup of coffee. And then the Fully Nourished podcast will have the gray-blue background that I just described. So the content for the podcast will remain quite similar. I will continue to share personal stories because I believe doing so provides both levity and connection. So sharing relatable content that can be tied back to God's word, I feel is a really beautiful thing. And I will continue to do my best to provide content that is rooted in the gospel, but accessible. The coaching and social media, let's talk about that a minute. It's really going to be focused on nourishing the soul, the mind, and the body. Focusing on the soul is going to look like being in a personal relationship with Jesus and prioritizing that as the most significant relationship in life, period. All relationships require work. All relationships require intentionality. And that is super, super true of our relationship with Jesus as well. So focusing on developing that more deeply. Focusing on the mind would look like monitoring what's allowed to seep into our thinking, creating those boundaries to ensure that we're properly filtering and managing the information and operating from a space of factual data versus relying on our feelings to lead us to our thoughts and our reactions. And then focusing on our body is really going to look like taking care of the body that God has blessed us with, feeding it well and prioritizing movement and rest. And this summer, I'm super excited. I'm going to be launching a course called Nourished. Clients will be able to focus on living a fully nourished life, working through what that looks like for them individually and exploring how to step into fully nourished living and then how to maintain it, right? It's it's one thing to even be able to develop what that's going to look like uniquely for you, a whole nother thing to begin living it. And then sometimes the most challenging is how do you maintain that? So the content will absolutely flow over into the podcast as well. There'll be more details on how to enroll in Nourished to really be sure that you don't miss any details about the launch or the offerings. I would highly recommend that you go to the show notes and join the Nourished waitlist. This does not mean that you're enrolling. It does not mean that you're committed to it. It just means that you want to be on the mailing list to make sure that you know all the ins and outs that are happening with Nourished as more information becomes available. 
school. So again, it does not mean that you're enrolling for it. There's not enough information out there for you to know that you want to enroll for it. And I completely can appreciate that. But join the wait list to make sure that you're not missing any details if it seems like something that you would have some interest in. And I will personally make sure that you have an opportunity to visit with me and to hear about it in more detail as it becomes available. Bottom line, if I'm being completely transparent, it is really challenging to make these changes because I don't want to disrupt or cause any loss in listeners or followers. And that's hard to admit. I I want to increase the numbers in these areas, not decline. However, I do feel like it's a needed change and I want to do these now before more time passes so that it is just less disruptive. I also know that I need to remember it's not a numbers game for my ego. These are numbers for God, and he will lead the listeners and the followers to the content as he sees fit. I know this in my heart. I need to continue to be obedient and produce the content that he places on my heart, and I know that he will do the rest. I just need to trust that process. But these changes are humbling because I'm coming to you today to share that I want you to keep me in check. I need you to keep me in check to ensure that the podcast stays about him and not about me. I am overjoyed by the success of the podcast, and I thank each of you so greatly. I just don't want the success to become a source of pride for myself. I want to keep producing the content. I want to see the podcast continue to be successful and even become more and more and more successful, but I want the glory to go to God, and I want all the listeners to be encouraged to listen to the content and to share the content for God's glory and not for any reason that's tied to me. Well, this is a lot of information today. And guys, I'm going to be honest, my armpits are super, super sweaty because these admissions are really humbling. And it's a little bit harder to admit all of this out loud than what I thought it was going to be. But I find myself feeling really vulnerable. And I also know that that's okay. I know it's okay for a couple of reasons. I know it's okay because I think this community is a community filled with love. I think this community is a very supportive community, and I also know that it's a safe space because vulnerability precedes connection. I say it all the time. I know that vulnerability precedes connection, and if that is what I want is for all of us in this community to be vulnerable and to have the connection that that creates, then I know that I have to believe that this is a safe space to connect, to grow, and to deepen our relationships, and to intentionally expand this community to include other women that are looking for that type of love and connection and support as well. So I will continue to go first and be awkwardly uncomfortable and vulnerable because I know that that helps connect us all. And I thank you so, so much for listening. It feels so good to have this off my chest. It feels good to move forward. I pray that you will still find all the content and you will keep following along. I pray that you'll share it with a friend. I pray that this blesses you in some way. If not this episode, then the content going forward or the content that I've shared in the past. That is my hope, is that this content in some way is bringing you closer to God. I am looking forward to connecting with you one week from today on Monday, March 25th for a traditional long form episode. And don't forget to look for the Fully Nourished podcast artwork to make sure that you're hopping into the right show. Until we meet again, I pray that you choose to be impactful, my friends, intentionally finding ways to do what you can with what you have from where you are to grow God's kingdom. And as you continue on your journey towards living fully nourished, soul, mind, and body. I love you guys. Take care.